<laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to our Kung Fu class. So uh, we're carrying on with our Xiao Liu Han. Um, I hope you guys have been practicing last week, practicing the movements that I was teaching you. Um, I don't know whether you remember but we were doing this crossing the palm in front movement. So make sure you've really been practicing these movements. And also this movement as well, the Cuo Zhang. Yeah, so this twisting or wringing hand movement. So later on when we're practicing the form, you're gonna you're gonna be using or applying this movement later. Okay, so without further ado, let's warm up. So let's warm up our wrists and ankles. And then we're gonna change to the other side. So today we're not gonna do too much warm-up. I really want us to concentrate on the form. Okay, and then stretch up. And then stretch down to the floor. And swing your arms forward. So big swing forward. Okay, and backwards. That's it. And one forward, one back. Good. And change. Fantastic. Okay, so we're going to stretch out our shoulders. So um, obviously when we were doing the first movement, you were doing this kind of stretching back movement. And so we really need to make sure we open up your shoulders. So we're going to reach forward like this. Okay, and you're going to try and put your armpit to the floor if you can. Okay, so just stretch down. Okay, make it a little bit harder to so grab up onto your fingertips and look forward. Okay, good. So just sit on your butt and then put your hands behind you like this and just stretch your shoulders backwards. Okay, your legs to one side and to the other side. And then your legs up in front. Okay, a few more seconds. Great, okay. And up on your feet. Okay, let's uh, warm up your hip. So twist your hip around. Okay, and change your direction. Okay, good, and your knees. Circle your knees and change. And then from here you can circle your knees inwards. Okay and outwards and then squat down good, try and keep your feet on the floor if you can and then stretch up and then down again and then stretch up okay let's go straight into our stretch so let's do our gumbu stretch so just open your legs as wide as you can and push your hip forward go one, two, three, four, five, six seven, eight, nine, ten, and change the other side, and go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, sink down into pubu, one, two, three, four, five, and change it to the other side, okay, one, two, three, four, Five, okay, stand up. So just practice standing on one foot. Okay, and just stretch your knee in towards your chest. You remember we were doing this earlier? And when you do your first part of your form, you have to block up, yeah, you have to raise your knees up. So just gonna stretch our knees forward like this. Okay, and then grab the hand on the foot and stretch forward. And then in again. And then change the other side. Try and keep your balance if you can. Yeah, and pull your knee in towards you. Good, and then grab your hand, same foot. Push your legs straight, try and really keep your knees straight. Yeah. Okay, good. Well done, guys. We're gonna practice our shabu, which is our cross leg stance. So from here, you're gonna cross one leg behind. Sometimes you can practice this movement, so your coordination like one behind the other, it's called a jaw jabu. But for now, we're just gonna cross one leg behind. You're gonna sit down on the floor and just see if you can put your knee on the floor to get your knee down. Yeah, keep your back straight. Okay, and then change over to the other side. Put your knee down on the floor. Good, in the movement that we're gonna do in a second, you have to sit in this stance. Okay, so this is called a shabu. <laughs> okay, so stand up, 
Okay, good. So let's move on to our technique straight away. Um, so remember last week we were doing this um, cross, uh, crossing palm over, this toa jump. So today we're going to do a new technique. So I want to show you this stabbing palm forward. So your hands are in this position, so this is the jump position. So what I want you to do is put your hands on your waist like this, and I want you to push your palms forward, and then back in. Yeah, so if I do it from this side, you can see. So your hands by your side, you're gonna extend your arms fully out and then bring your hands in. Yeah, so from here, you're gonna one and then in. Yeah, so two, extend out and then bring one back in. So when you bring them back in, the left hand is just sitting slightly back in front of the right. Yeah, so you go up, in, and then you're gonna change up, in. So you're going to bring it back, the other one back down to the other side. So from here you're going to go one and then two, three, you're going to change each time. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten. Yeah, so really see if you can stab your palms forward, it's like a stabbing palm. Yeah, coming forward. Okay, so relax your arms again. We're gonna do that again, we're gonna do one more set. So from here, hands on the side of your waist. I'm gonna stab forward. Okay, okay, ready? Go, one, good, back, two, back, three. Make sure we're doing it together, yeah? Four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, and last one, ten. Okay, good, relax. Okay, the second movement I want to show you is a, it's a kind of cannon fist movement. So you've probably done this in various different forms. Um, uh, and also, obviously, you could be doing this a lot in the pao twen, in your cannon fist. But this uh, cannon fist movement is also in the xiao liu han. So I just want to show you what that looks like, and we're going to practice together. So I want you to put your hands on your waist in a fist position. So remember, if you're basics, when you're holding your fist, you need to make sure that your thumb is over the first two fingers. Yeah, and you need to really tense your, uh, your arms when you're practicing this movement. So from here, you're going to punch up forward into the air. You're going to turn your fists out and up, yeah? So you're going to punch up, and then you're going to turn your hands inwards, so your fists face inwards, and then you're going to drag your fist back down to your, uh, your elbows down towards your body, yeah? So from here, you're going to punch up and then in. Yeah, when you bring your hands back down, I want you to bring your, your elbows together and sink your elbows to the floor. Bring your hands about a fifth width between your fists, yeah? So from here, you're gonna punch up, drag down, yeah? And when you punch up, let me just explain the, the expression. When you punch up, you need to look up. Yeah, when you drag down, you need to look to the right, yeah, to this side. Yeah, your left hand is a little bit up and your right hand is a little bit lower than the other one. When we do it in the form, you're going to be coming up and you're gonna be sinking down into your marble position. But don't worry too much about that now, I just want you to practice the hand positioning. Okay, so from here, so ready? We're gonna go one, two, okay, and again. Okay, ready? Go one, two. When you punch up, I want you to use your hip your hip to push your arms up into the sky. Okay, when you bring your elbows down and you drag your hands back down, I want you to use your, your hip to pull your hands back down to your waist. Also, <laughs> so a lot of information for you guys. Also, when you practice this movement, don't just relax to it, yeah? I need you to use as much power as you can in your arms. Yes, yeah, so you really need to tense your shoulder, your arms, your forearms, every part of your arm when you're practicing this movement. Okay, you ready? So let's practice this movement together. Let's do 10 sets. Okay, breathe in. Go, one, two. Good, and again. One, two, three. Good, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, 
And the last one, punch up, wah, and turn your body. Okay, good. Fantastic, okay, relax your arms. So I want you to remember those two movements. Okay, brilliant, fantastic. Okay, so the next part we're gonna do is we're gonna carry on learning um, the form. So the last section we were up to this which means punching or boxing the ears in this position. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you the next section and then I'm gonna break it down for you step by step. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the movement to begin with um, it at full speed, full power, and then we're going to break it down, okay? Okay, so from here. Yeah, I'll just show you that again. From here. Okay, good. Okay, so this movement's not too tricky, but it's got a little bit, a few, a few technical movements in it, so let's go step by step. So we're starting in our gumbu position. So gumbu position, and your hands are punching you. Just remember when you're doing this movement, make sure when you punch, you need to punch forward. So your hands are not facing forward this way, they're kind of facing in. So you imagine someone's facing in front of you, and you're punching like your boxing the side of their ears, yeah, or their temples, yes, in this position. Okay, from this position, I'll do it facing you so you can see, because if I do it from here, you might be able to see very clearly. Okay, so from here, the first movement is you're going to grab, yeah, so from here, your left hand is on top, open your palm, and your right hand is underneath. Yes, yeah, so you want to imagine you're going to, someone punching towards you, and you're going to catch their arm in between your four, in between your forearms, yeah? So from here, so you're going to go one. Now from here, you're going to twist your palm over to the other side. Yeah, did you see that? So from here, you're going to catch, twist. Okay, I'm just going to show you from this side. So the gumbu position. Okay, back straight. Go one, two. Yeah. Okay, I'll show you again from this side. You can see a bit clearer. So you're gonna go one, two. Yeah, easy? It's good because you guys have been practicing this hopefully all this week, so this movement should be a lot easier for you. Okay, so I'm gonna do it from the original position and then I'm gonna turn it so I face it towards you so it's easier to watch. So from here, so you've got your shuang wang er, just boxing the ears. Okay, you're going to grab, twist. Okay, from here, so you're in this twist position, your footwork is you're going to step behind and you're going to crouch down into that shabu position. Yeah, so your footwork is from gombu into shabu. Yeah, so not too tricky. So from here again, one, two. Okay, step back. So you're facing, you're, you're turning around in the opposite direction. So you're starting off in this direction, and now you're facing, you're attacking and defending in the opposite direction. Yeah? So here again. So, one, two, step back. Okay, your hands are gonna do this. So as you step back into that shabu position, so you're here, shabu, the transition is, let me face you this way so you can see. So as you, as you sit down, you're gonna block with your right hand forward and your left hand is gonna change to a fist and come to the side of your body. Yeah, so as you sit down, left hand to fist, you're gonna block in front of you. Yeah, try not to keep your arm too straight, yeah? So bend your elbow and block in front. Okay, so let's, uh, Practice again from this side. So from here, catch, twist, step back. Now as you sit down, block. Yeah, so you're blocking as you sit down. Okay, let's try again. So from here, one, two, three, four. Okay, 
Not too bad? Yeah, maybe I do it from, it might be a bit confusing if I do it from the opposite side, but if I do it from here, then it might be easier for you to see the movement. So I'm gonna try from this angle here. So I'll be facing, coming back this way. Yeah. So, I catch, turn as I step back. So I'm facing you, step back, down and block. Okay, the next section's quite easy. So you're gonna stand up, and you're gonna bring your hand all the way around to the back to the original side you were at and place your hand into a fist on the side of your body, yeah? If I do it from this uh, section, you can see, so we've gone here, block, okay, stand up, turn your body around to the opposite side and bring your hand back to your waist. Yeah, so again, from here, stand up, turn. Yeah, from here, stand up, turn. From here, and just show you all angles. Here, turn. Okay, from here, you're gonna raise your knee up. So you're gonna raise your knee up into that t shi position, raise your knee. You're gonna step out into gumbu, and at the same time, you're gonna do this knife strike hands out, and then your elbows come back to your chest. So this, this knife strike movement that we were doing, we were doing this earlier at the beginning of the class. So you're gonna go out and then in. So from here, you're gonna raise your knee, gumbu position, strike, up and back. Yeah? Okay, let's do it facing this way. So from here, raise your knee, gumbu, go, strike up, and back. The last section is really easy. So from here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring your left hand round, like this, so facing out. You're gonna grab into your waist. Yeah, so from this position, you've done your gumbu, you're gonna bring your left hand round, grab to your waist, and you're sinking down into marbu position. So you're transitioning, you're going from Shabu, Shabu, Tishi, Gumbu, Mabu. Yeah, this is your footwork. Your hands are going from here, round to the fist. Obviously, you raise your knee. Then from here, you're going to up, stab up, bring back down. Your hands round to Marbu. The last section is the last movement that we, that we were practicing before. It's this cannon fist, this pow twin movement. So from here, you've grabbed to your waist. Yeah, and then from here, you're going to punch up. You're gonna stand up. And as you sit back down into the Marbu position, you're gonna turn your fists so they're facing inwards and then you're gonna drag down into Marbu, back straight, you're gonna look right. Yeah, so we've got this punch up, drag down. Yeah? Okay, let's move back a little bit. So from here, we've got that nice strike, grab, punch up, and down. Okay? So let's do the movement all the way from the beginning, and we'll break it down step by step again and then we'll try to practice the movement all together with some flowing, uh, flowing movements together. Okay, so from here, step by step. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine. Yeah, feels good, doesn't it? This is a really nice, uh, really nice uh, form, and it's got loads of martial applications in it. If you use power, you might be able to feel actually what the movements are used for. It's really cool. Okay, so from here again. Okay, ready? So you're gonna grab, twist, turn, go. One, two, three. Four, five, 
Good. Did you manage to get that? I hope you guys are keeping up with me, I'm not going too fast. So let's try and practice those movements together, all the way from the start to the finish, okay? Ready? Gongbu, shuang One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, and again. It feels good when you're practicing it, yeah? For quite a lot of power in the movement, okay? So from here, back straight. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, one more time. One more time. Yes, okay, brilliant. Okay, this is the last time we're going to practice together, and then this will be the end of our, our section. Okay, here we go. So again, from here, yeah, punch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Yeah? Did you get that? Yeah, brilliant. Okay, so that is that section for today. So I'm going to go back to the beginning. I'm going to practice the movements just slowly again so we've got the movement from the beginning all the way to the end. Okay, so just see if you can remember from last time. Okay, ready? So, breathe in. Breathe out. In. Out. Good day. One, two, three. Okay, you ready? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, good. Shall we just do it one more time? We just do it one more time, but we'll do it super slow. Yeah, so we've definitely got it in our head. We're just gonna go from this position. So I presume you guys have got all the breathing and everything, get your chi into your dantian. But okay, we'll go from this position. Okay, so from here. Go one, two, jump up, back. Three, hands on your waist, block. Four, one, Two, three, five, six, seven, up, eight, nine. Mm. Okay, very good. Okay, brilliant guys, good stuff. Okay, so just relax your legs. So before you come back to your next class with us next week, make sure you've done a really good warm up. So you've warmed up all of your joints, all of your muscles, and you've done a really good stretch. So maybe you stretched your legs like Yatwe, and a Gumbu Pabu, make sure you've done all of your movements, make sure you're really warm before you start. And then we can just keep practicing the form, you can keep learning those, um, all of those uh, sections. So today, just a recap, <laughs> you guys have, um, you have, remember we've done this movement, crossing over movement, you've done this turning, twisting movement, so you can do it on both sides, twisting, yeah, we also did our punching up movement. So from here, we were punching up and dragging down. So punching up, dragging down. And then we completed the second section. So remember, your are on, block down, grab me up, knife strike. We're also doing the knife strike as well, yeah? We're doing this movement. So don't forget these, so all throughout the week, I need you to practice this knife position, knife strike, yeah? And also your punching up. Yeah, so punching up, dragging down. Okay, good. Okay, well that's your legs. That's all for today. Um, I hope you guys can join me next week. We're gonna carry on with the form and learning some uh, new, new techniques. Okay, good, so thank you so much for watching and Shaka class finished.